Okay, I would like to, to share with you today how to defend leg locks and this is gonna help no matter what leg lock my, my opponent is trying to do on me. So I'm talking about uh, foot locks, straight foot locks, heel locks. I can have my leg on one side of his body or on the other side, right? And he wants to catch my uh, Achilles like that, or he wants to catch my heel for uh, okay. yeah. Therefore, I'm gonna hide my heel into his ribs. So I'm not just gonna turn my knee, my hurt myself, I'm gonna turn my whole foot, my whole leg from my hip here. Now try to do a straight foot lock. Very difficult. Try to do a heel hook. There's no way you can catch my heel now. Okay. And if my leg was on the other side, or I would have this leg here, so I can have it same side or across, it's the same idea. I turn my heel, turn my whole leg towards his, his hip. Go ahead. Now it's gonna be quite painful for your ribs, for your arm to, to do to apply submission. Now even if you have the leg positioning and everything, you start to apply here, I, I'm I'm okay. Yeah? And if he starts to put pressure, I start to come on top. Alright, that's your next step. So Step number one, you say you got it here, don't mind the leg position for now, rotate your, your uh, heel towards his ribs. Step number two, put, put weight on your leg, so, so you can come on top, okay? okay. Now, the step number three would be undoing the control of his legs, okay? So let's look at that from the floor first, and then I'll show from standing. So, first, rotate, okay? Now, before I put my weight on the leg, I will see what control he has. And I will look to always control this part of his leg, those, the knuckles, okay? Same like we control on the arms when we wanna make good grips, we're gonna control this part of his foot. Why do we control this? Because this is the easiest to move. And depending on which direction I need to push, maybe this way, maybe I wanna push it up, I might need to make that grip under, so I can make it over, or I can make it under to unwind, to undo his control. Okay? Maybe he has uh, his feet crossed. Yeah, something like that. Okay? So, I will see which one is the top leg. Press it. Now I'll take the other one, open his leg. Uh, this time I maintain it here. So, let's say you have uh, this position. Okay? First step. Turn my heel to the ribs, rotate all my foot. Second step, put my weight on the leg, bend my leg, don't stay upright, okay? You, you need to have good pressure here. If you stay upright, maybe you're gonna fall back. Now, see his legs? Top one, open, bottom one, open. Now, you're, you're pretty free. There's nothing he can, he can do much to your leg. You can look to step inside, you can look to pull your leg out, you can look to pull it down, put a lot of pressure and so on. Okay, let's look now at, let's say, the, uh, the saddle. You're gonna turn the heel, okay? You're gonna look to come up, right? Now look at the leg positioning, this one is on top, open, open. You can get your knee free, you can pass. Okay, this is a very, Easy approach and uh, some concepts that will help to defend any leg lock. First, turn your heel the right direction, you're hiding your heel, you're hiding your Achilles. Second, you're putting weight and pressure on that leg. And then next, you're looking to undo his control by controlling, to, to open his legs by controlling the, the knuckles of the feet. This part, either here or here, depending on where you want to push him. Okay, I hope that helps and it's going to get you away from, from some dangerous leg locks.